Well, are you ready? Are you ready for week 12? Because I am. I am so ready for this Saturday. It's going to be great. It's going to be another great Saturday in college football, and I think we're all going to enjoy it. Um, starting off the day, um, from the looks of it, uh, Oklahoma State may still be ranked. I don't know what the CFP is going to do with them because I don't think they deserve to be ranked. They are taking on Kansas, so, you know, um, Kansas has surprised us a little bit this year at times, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Penn State, how are they going to bounce back after losing to Minnesota? Uh, they're playing a surprising only two-loss team, Indiana. You know, Indiana only has two losses. That's surprising to see at the very least. Uh, so... What's Penn State going to do? Um, Indiana is a team that I haven't seen play all year long, but we're gonna, but I'm going to see them on Saturday, though. So it's going to be great to watch that game. Uh, the other game that I may be looking forward to, um, then again, I may not because it might turn into a bloodbath. Um, how is Alabama going to respond after losing to LSU? Um, Alabama did not look very good against LSU. Yeah, they battled back, as I've said, you know, in the previous video. Um, but honestly, you know, Mississippi State should, you know, try and punch them in the mouth as well. You know, they should try to do something. If you want Alabama completely out of the playoff picture, you got to punch them in the mouth. It's got to be It's got to be this week or it's got to be against Auburn because it ain't going to be against Western Carolina. I can guarantee you that. Um, but Mississippi State has to at least try. You know, I don't think I don't think anything's gonna really come out of that. So, uh, Michigan State, Michigan. Why this is the Fox game? I have no idea. I don't, I don't know. These have been the questionable choices uh, with these top games the last few weeks. You know, um, so I guess this is supposed to capitalize. You know, for Fox. You know, because it's another Michigan home game. But it is what it is. It's a disgusting game. Michigan State has like four losses. They lost to Illinois, who's bowl eligible. Yeah. Who would have thought, you know, that Illinois would be bowl eligible at Michigan State? And Michigan's already at the playoff picture, so who cares? You know, Michigan might end up with three losses by the end of the season anyway. So, uh, Wisconsin's taking on Nebraska. Who cares? I honestly do not. Um, Wisconsin uh, has to keep winning, keep pace, and they got to make sure that. Minnesota loses a game, and, you know, they got to beat Minnesota. So it won't matter if Wisconsin – it won't matter if Wisconsin beats Minnesota and Minnesota's all, all of a sudden, you know, like, oh, well, we're, we're still undefeated or something like that. So Wisconsin has to make sure that they got to beat Minnesota and they got to make sure Minnesota has another loss. So we'll talk about Minnesota in a minute. Florida taking on Missouri. Who cares? Florida is out of the playoff picture. I don't care what anybody thinks. They are out. This game does not matter at all. I'll tell you a game that does actually matter, and it's quite surprising that it's only that it's playing like in between, you know, some of the other games. So I have to only catch maybe like an hour of it or so. And that's gonna be Navy Notre Dame. Navy is has only one loss. Hard to believe that. Notre Dame. Um, they could improve. They could, you know, improve. You know, the playoff positions of some of these teams, I guess, um, or rather, maybe could not Notre Dame out of the top twenty-five completely or something like that. Now, I'm not saying that will happen, but I mean, you know, it could happen. It could happen to where maybe could completely not Notre Dame, you know, down to the point where they shouldn't even be ranked anymore. Uh, this is going to be a really interesting game because because no, Navy has only one loss, um, and Notre Dame is, you know, they've been quietly um, beating up on teams ever since you know losing to Michigan. Um, but honestly, this game is probably going to be one of those under the radar type games. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen because I mean, it starts it starts like you know like in between you know some of these other games, which is kind of whack. But, you know, it is what it is, so I have to keep an eye on this game for like an hour or so, and then we'll have to switch on ahead. Memphis, the ever-so-dominant Memphis Tigers, who have played very, very well, taking on a struggling Houston team. You know, they should take care of business there. 
Got to keep on winning. Keep on winning. Wake Forest taking on Clemson. Now, Wake Forest lost last week. Not surprising at all. They lost their second game. They got blown out by Virginia Tech. Um, and Clemson, it, it may be their it may be their only other chance, you know, to get a big time victory uh, before the ACC championship. Um, so you know, this could be a bloodbath. I guarantee you, it could be uh, going to be interesting to see what in the world Wake Forest can do to stop Clemson because they gotta they gotta stop Clemson. They they want Clemson out of the playoff picture. They gotta stop them. But I guarantee you that may not happen. Clemson may just destroy Wake Forest, and we won't have to hear from Wake Forest ever again this season. Um, and that's going to also play into who's going to get selected for the Orange Bowl, you know, because um, the ACC representative has to go to the Orange Bowl. But, you know, I don't know if there's anybody that can go that's really good, you know, because all the ACC is just Clemson at 13 nobodies. Uh, Texas is taking on Iowa State. Of course, I'll be watching the game because it's the Longhorns, and you know we gotta watch the Longhorns in this in this household. So, um, you know, Brock Purdy and Iowa State—they are a really good team. You know, can't overestimate them. They took Oklahoma to the limit. Um, we just gotta play. You know, we gotta play with like we did against West Virginia and against Kansas State. We gotta play with some defense. Gotta play with some heart on defense. We got to get Ellinger, you know, we got to get him doing good stuff on offense. So, arguably one of the bigger games of the week should it should mitigate and eliminate Georgia, but who knows what Auburn and Gus Malzahn can do. Um, Auburn could win this game in a dramatic fashion, or they could lose this game in a dramatic fashion. Same thing goes with Georgia. Um, this is going to be one of the best games of the week, I guarantee you. Um, so what in the world can Auburn do? Well, Bo Nix has to be consistent, and so does Jake Fromm. Both, in order for these two teams to win, in order for one of them to win, the quarterbacks have to be very consistent because their defense is pretty good. Defenses are very, very good. Um but it's the consistency of Jake Fromm and the consistency of Bo Nix that has to come into play in this game. So I'm going to move on here. I'm going to talk about, oh, God, oh, Ohio State's taking on Rutgers. That's going to be disgusting, a bloodbath. Let's not even. Minnesota's taking on Iowa. Interesting game there. Um, Minnesota's still undefeated. It's coming off that high against you know, Penn State. All they got to do is keep winning. They keep winning. Um, this is going to be great for them. All they got to do is beat Iowa and Wisconsin and Northwestern. They'll be undefeated going to the Big Ten Championship, taking on Ohio State, maybe. So Minnesota's got a lot coming up. They got a lot of stuff going on coming up, and they may just they may just go undefeated, or they could lose a couple games. Who knows? You know. Northwestern ain't no slouch either, but Iowa and Wisconsin are going to be tough tests for them, I guarantee you. Cincinnati, in the meantime, is taking on South Florida, and South Florida hasn't really been that good this season. They've just been kind of there, um, so I expect Cincinnati to take care of business. They're going to keep taking care of business because they're only, remember, their only loss is to Ohio State. Remember, good team. Good team down there in Cincinnati. LSU, the number one team in the country, taking on Ole Miss. And this is probably going to be another bloodbath. Ole Miss is not good. Ole Miss lost to Memphis. Remember that? Y'all remember that? Um, and this may not be very good at all for the Rebels because I think LSU is going to come in and stomp them. So. You know, it is it just is what it is. Burrow's probably gonna go off and throw five touchdowns. It just is it just is that. I'm gonna skip over some of these other games right now. Oh boy. Um Boise State standing on New Mexico. Doesn't really matter all that much. Um aside from the group of five, you know, the cotton bowl picture. Um so Boise State's trying to keep pace there. Um but then we got some Pac-12 at the dark here. So Arizona, Oregon, 
And we all know that Kevin Sumlin is a trash coach. You know, it doesn't matter about the color of your skin. What matters is that you can coach. And Kevin Sumlin cannot coach. I am so glad Florida State fired Willie Taggart. He was trash. Kevin Sumlin better be next to go, please, because Oregon may just do some business. So what we got here is some Pac-12 dark. USC is taking on Cal. Remember Cal? They were, they were undefeated at the beginning of the season. Now they kind of just died and just haven't done anything since then. But you see, USC should, you know, that should be a good game. That'll pretty much end the night right there with those two Pac-12 dark games, 9.30 and 10, respectively, um, Central Time, of course. Then, you know, last we will talk about these two games right here. First up is UCLA and Utah. Remember UCLA? Yeah, yeah, that same UCLA team. They've been, they've been pretty good. You know, they've gotten a lot better, Chip Kelly and stuff, you know, gotten a lot better since, you know, the last time we saw them. And it, it, it's just... It's, it's just great to see, you know, you know, UCLA, you know, playing good. But Utah has had a defense that has played lights out, absolutely gorgeous defense. You know, Tyler Huntley, Zach Moss, you know, those two guys, they've been playing very, very good football, especially Tyler Huntley. I don't think he's thrown – he's maybe only thrown like one or two interceptions all season long, you know. And, you know, it's going to be a great game, I guarantee you. Um What's Chip Kelly going to do to stop Utah's defense what, from getting to DTR? Is he even still starting? I don't know. But anyway, the final game on the docket that we're going to talk about is the biggest game of the week. Of course, it has to be the biggest game of the week because it is detrimental to the Big 12's playoff hopes, in a sense. Uh, Oklahoma taking on Baylor. Now, Oklahoma has an offense that can score on you. But the last couple of times we've seen them play, and and I do mean we because you should be, because, I mean, that offense just looks that damn good. Um, the last time, a couple of times we've seen them play, they have not played very well. And Baylor's defense has surprisingly been very good, very, very good. Just limiting teams, you know, not allowing touchdowns and stuff like that. And I think, you know, the atmosphere of Waco, you know, getting a big-time home game at night, you know, and, you know, ABC is going to be all over there and stuff like that. I think it's going to serve well for the Baylor, Be- for the Baylor Bears. Excuse me. Um, but I think the key to winning this game is what – for Baylor anyway, is can they stop Jalen Hurts? Can they rattle him enough to where he makes mistakes like in Can like in the Kansas State and the Iowa State games? Can can this team get rattled? You know? And I think for Baylor, they just gotta score enough points, you know. You know, Oklahoma can score points in like one play. Um Baylor just has to do just enough to keep Oklahoma out of it. And, you know, this is Oklahoma's last chance before the Big before the Big 12 championship. I don't think Oklahoma State is going to provide them with anything. And, of course, the Horns just, we, we, we aren't very good. <laughs> we are not. We got lucky last week because we got torched by Kansas State. But this is really Oklahoma's final chance to get something going. And if they lose this game, they are out. Two losses, it doesn't matter. You are out. You know, yeah, we've had, we've had this sort of flirtatious moment with the two loss teams before, like Auburn, but not this time around. I don't think a two loss team will get into the playoff this time around, and it's going to be crazy if Oklahoma loses this game. So that may also put them out of the picture for you know maybe. Maybe put them out of the picture for the Big 12 championship. Or maybe they'll still take on Baylor because they do have the tiebreaker for Texas. But they don't have the tiebreaker for Kansas State. Who knows? Who knows? But if, if the, most of the Big 12 sands Baylor is sitting at two losses, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. So that's what Baylor's got to do. they got to win. they got to win this game. They want to keep Oklahoma out of the playoff. They don't. It doesn't matter. 
if Baylor gets beat um, tonight, because Baylor, it doesn't matter if Baylor gets beat by Oklahoma uh, in a sense of what the Big 12 playoff position is going to be, because that won't really cut it. You know, an Oklahoma victory over Baylor will not cut it in the eyes of the committee. I can guarantee you that, because Baylor, because, I mean, they had Baylor down at 12, remember, below a two-loss team, you know, in Florida and Auburn. So I think that's going to do it. That's going to do it for the preview for Week 12. It's going to be an interesting slate of games, I guarantee you that. Lots of stuff to look forward to, lots of stuff. It's going to be one wild week, y'all. Let's get ready.